um, personally, I have said this to many other students who I've given like a similar talk to. I personally chose Gray's Inn because, uh, as MT said earlier, I graduated in the University of Leeds. And when I graduated, my parents came to my graduation and I introduced my parents to all my friends. And for a year in the UK, all my friends were still Malaysian. So my parents, my dad specifically, was rightfully very annoyed at me for like, 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 hey, I sent you to the UK for a year. Why the hell do you not have any more international friends? And I'm like, you know what? That's true. That's fair. So what I did was uh, I, I heard rumors that Gray's Inn was the, had the least amount of Asians in it. And which is why I applied to Grace Inn. And to be fair, that is that rumor is very, very true. When I went to Grace Inn, the induction, there was a bunch of people. The hall was full. There was 15 Asian people, including me. So you don't see any Asian people there. They're mostly uh, locals. And I think to me, that's a good thing. I've made a lot of local friends because of that. And I would also like to point out that Grace Inn is the smallest inn out of all four. And that is not a bad thing. That is actually a very good thing because when you're applying for your qualifying sessions or any sort of sessions, you will get a spot much easier than in the other inns. And on top of that, Grace Inn also has um, this... Um, sort of tutor program, which I think the other inns have had, also have as well, where they have certain lawyers working or like participating or are grazing members. They would take on other in members as they're like, um, uh, to be their tutor. And it's much easier to apply to be a, for that position, uh, to, to gain a tutor at Grayson because there's so uh, less so many less people at Grayson. And because of that, I think Grayson was pretty, pretty nice. And even though they say the inn is the smallest inn, it's still massive. So yeah, thank you. Thank you, Janine. Stephen, what's in seal uh, you are the member of? Okay, so I, I did the exact opposite of what Jenmin did. I actually joined Lincoln's Inn. Um, and Lincoln's Inn is, is renowned for not only having the probably the biggest population of, of uh, lawyers, but also having the most Malaysians. Um, and, and, and don't worry, it's, the reason I chose Lincoln's Inn wasn't because there were tons of other Malaysians there as well. Um, I just thought that you know being in the, the biggest inn possible would give me a lot of chances to network and try to get to know new people. Um, so far, you know, my experience has been great. I mean, the, the people are very friendly. Um, you know, all, all the barristers that are part of the inn are very, very helpful. You know, they, they are more than willing to give you advice on your people applications, um, trying to get into um, the legal field after doing the bar. They're very helpful with that. Um, and also, you know, there's a lot of, because we have a lot of um, judges who are part of the inn, it's very easy to do judicial martial where you just follow a judge around for a week or so um, and try to see what life is like from the bench rather than facing the bench as a lawyer. Uh, so I, I think that's another reason why I chose Lincoln's Inn. You, you have all these um, experiences and all these resources available to you. Um, and it is a very, very supportive inn as well. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Nafin, can I know the inns that you belong to? I belong to uh, Middle Temple. And uh, why I chose Middle Temple is very different from Stephen <laughs> Jimmy's reason. I chose it because, first of all, I heard there, there were uh, many Malaysians in uh, Lincoln's Inn and Middle Temple. So at first I was going to go to Lincoln's Inn. But then I heard most of my batchmates were not going to Lincoln's Inn. So I changed it to Middle Temple. And I was like, okay, at least, you know, I'll have a small neat group of people that I know before I start socializing and networking there. Uh, when I went to uh, my first uh, QS event, I was like, I was baffled because... The, the crowd, the crowd, it was, oh my, it was astonishing for me because uh, especially from someone from all the way from the north in Newcastle, you go to the, you go to central London and then you're like, oh, okay, so this is what a busy place is like. And uh, yeah, and just like Jenmin said, the, the pro to, to his uh, in is that it's easier to book for QS points while the con for my in is if you're not on the ball, if you, if you think, oh, you know, just give it a day or two, I'll book it tomorrow, you'll be gone. You can't book any QS point after that. So you make sure you're always checking whenever the, the, the events are refreshed and get whatever events you need uh, because you'll, you'll have six categories to collect points from and then you'll need to collect six points. I mean, for my end specifically, you have to co collect six points physically and the other four, you could probably do it online. So I got my four points and I was like, oh, you know, I'll take my time. No, no, bad, bad, bad mistake. <laughs> Don't do that. Sorry, MT. Is it okay if I ask yes. even a question very quick? Uh, Stephen, yes. uh, since you've been yeah. working already, I just wanted to ask him, um, like you being in Lincoln's Inn and you being back in Malaysia, how well does the Inn relationship transfer across to Malaysia? Thank you. Um, I think, okay, so I, I would say Lincoln's Inn, there's quite a huge alumni, uh, or oh, sorry, like you could say it's like an extended Malaysian branch of Lincoln's Inn um, in Malaysia. So you do have events that you would, you would go in and you'd see, you know, all your, your judges or your lawyers who, were, who are part of Lincoln's Inn. Um, so you, you do have that camaraderie still there and, and there is events that are held locally. Um, I would say, however, based on my experience, the one uh, the one in that does the most events and the best events is actually Middle Temple. Middle Temple's um, Malaysian branch is very, very gung-ho. Um, <laughs> Lincoln's Inn, it's more like, oh, we'll have like informal gatherings or maybe we'll have like a lecture or a seminar and that sort of thing. Middle Temple will usually be like, oh, let's have like a dinner and let everyone get to know each other again and that sort of thing. So Lincoln's Inn always has the, I, I suppose there's always the, um, what's the word? Uh, impression that Lincoln's Inn is always a serious one, like there's no fun time. Um, not necessarily the case, but in the Malaysian one, yes, everyone's very serious. So it's usually seminars and lectures. Yeah. 
Wait, no, good question, Jenny, by the way. 